Hi everybody, my name is Lauren. If you are new to my channel, welcome! Today I'm going to be doing my first point shoe recap, and I know it's 2016, but I'm recapping on my 2015 point shoes, if that makes sense. Yeah. So, let's get right into it. So, I know that my first pair of point shoes were technically the end of 2014, but I was kind of still wearing them a tiny bit in the beginning of 2016. So I thought I might just throw them in there anyway. And that is my Morella Whisper point shoes. I love these so much, but the only problem was that I killed them really fast for the amount of time that I was dancing on them. They felt very comfortable, and they have a little bit of padding in already, so I only used a tiny bit of lands wool at the tip, and they were fine. I never taped my toes in this and these. I really liked them. They were great, but I killed them extremely fast because I only wore them about a half an hour a week, and sometimes I wasn't even there that day, so... Yeah, I liked them, dyed really fast, they are a really soft point shoe, and they are really good for beginners. Because I liked how comfortable they were, I got them again, but they dyed even faster, and so they are these ones. I have a video on um, how I got these black. The only difference with those ones is that I got them a little narrower, and I didn't have to wear a spacer in them. The next pair of point shoes I got were Breed of London. Let me just get them out. And they are Studio Pro Point Shoes. One of them is a little darker than the other because I was trying to test out how to make your point shoes a nude color and it didn't really work. So that's what this is about. But they look really terrible because I was still kind of a beginner on point and I was not really sure when they were dead. The shank fell out of these and um, yeah, they are completely destroyed. So, uh, yeah, I should have stopped these a long time ago. But um, I really liked how these shoes felt in the beginning. I felt very supported, much more supported than the Morella really soft point shoes. Cause, because these, um, the Freeds tend to be a really like hard shoe. But I still killed these faster than I was hoping to because I still wasn't dancing very much. Um, I killed them in one week because... I was at an intensive and I got in the highest level and we did point a lot so I killed them in one week but now I kill point shoes a lot faster. Yeah I felt like they are really bulky around my foot. I thought some people said my point my foot looked great in them but I felt like it just didn't look very pretty and flexible and it just I don't I don't know I just they were okay but I was definitely wanting to switch my brand after I was done with these. From there, I went to my Gainer Minden point shoes, which um, lasted me about two months, which was good um, for the amount of time I was dancing on them. Um, but I, they lasted me like two months, but I kept them for a lot longer because I wasn't able to get another pair of point shoes. I think I kept them for about three months. Yeah, I kept them about three months. And then I was like, okay, I really need to get a new pair of point shoes for the performance. So, I went on to Sodonka point shoes. And these point shoes I actually took to Disneyland and got them signed by all of the Disney princesses. You can see there. But these guys died extremely fast. I was hoping that these would be my performance shoes, but I killed them in one rehearsal. My feet are crazy, guys. My feet are crazy. I wasn't able to get a new pair of point shoes. So I went back to these ones because these weren't, they were dead, but I was still able to dance on them. Unlike these ones, they were bad. And so I kept these, I think, a total of four months, maybe. Maybe five. I'm not really sure. I think four months. And they were super squishy and just... I was so done, and so I was like, okay, now it's time to get a new pair of point shoes. So this month, I got my new Gator Mindens that are up here. I put them up there because they are so shiny and nice, and I just thought you might want to see them just because of how beautiful they are. 
I was extremely happy to get these ones because um, these are disgusting and they reek like heck. So those are all of the different brands of point shoes that I have tried in 2015. In 2016, I'm not sure if I'll do a recap because I'm really liking Gainer Mendens and I'm not sure if I'm going to switch over to any other brands. But if I do, I will definitely do another point shoe recap. If I get two or more brands of point shoes, then I'll do another point shoe recap. I hope you enjoyed this point shoe recap and also I really hope you like my new filling space. I um, rearranged my bedroom and this used to be a bunk bed and now I got a little day bed and I really, I like it. This is actually my old bed, um, but I really like it and there's like a nice blank wall and I just really hope you like it more than my messy wall with posters and my yeah, I just really hope that you like this and hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless you. Bye!